Hi, I'm Michael Buffer here, and you are watching Lights Out. This is Festival Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. Delighted to be joined by Joe Gallagher. It's fight week, we're here in Manchester, ahead of the big one, Amir Khan versus Kel Brook. But also on that card, Joe's fighter, Natasha Jonas, bids for to finally capture a world title for the third time. Joe, first of all, how are you doing and how confident are you that it's going to be third time knocking on Saturday night? Listen, I'm confident in the work that we've done with Natasha for this fight. It's a huge fight. <laughs> Natasha's gone up three weight divisions to fight a former world champion. And um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a great show. Manchester's bubbling this week. As you can tell, sat here, it's bristling. The anticipation. It's a long time since we had a fight like this where it's a, a straight pick and fight. Um, hard to pick and fight. So um, I'm looking forward to it. As well as Natasha, but Cam Brooke, really looking forward to it. She's jumping up free weights, it's a big ask. Yes, it but is. what was the reason in you accepting the decision of her going up for free weights? And are you confident that she'll do it on Saturday night? I don't think it was accepting the decision. I think all the belts were tied up at 135. Taylor Serrano, 140. Chantel in that tournament, 147 with McCaskill. So, uh, that was it. And Natasha always said anyone from 130 to 147 can get it, but I didn't realise she was got to say 154, so there you go. Thank you. What's she got to do on Saturday night differently because she's going up in weight? Yeah. Do you expect the longer the fight goes in, it might play its toll on her, or can you see her perhaps looking to end the fight as early as possible? No, listen, you, you just look at uh, Chris Namusa's record, she doesn't get stopped. She goes the distance for all the world title fights, and she's been in a brack house, Tasha, you know what I mean? So this is a distant fight. We've got to make sure that we win six of the ten rounds and win that fight. Um, uh, our fights in the past have been very close, and I think this has got to be a, another um, close fight Saturday night. I haven't got long, uh, a long yeah. time with you because we're about to start the press yeah, conference. Yeah, no Give us a quick prediction for the main event on Saturday night. It's the fight we've all been wanting to see for many years. No, yeah, I can't, I can't pick him. But then when you look at uh, Amir, he's been in the bigger fights, bigger opponents. Kell Brooks waited 10, 15 years to land a shot on Amir and he's got to get his opportunity Saturday night. But I just think um, that big fight experience, a cool head in a, in a big hostile environment Saturday night, I think I'm going to leave him with Amir Khan. One final one, the current situation with Tyson Fury and Dillian White. Honest opinion on what's going on behind the scenes right now? I don't know. Listen, he emotionally signs it. And if he doesn't sign it, wow, I should speak louder words. But I think he'll sign it. There's no reason to. He's got a chance to fight for, for the world title. And he's getting paid £8 million for it. You back yourself, you go in there and you win. You back yourself. The golden rule is, as like Canelo, Tyson Fury, he who has the gold makes the rules. Until you're in that position, you can't, so back yourself, go in and win. But I can't see that. I, I think uh, Tyson Fury wins that fight. Joe Gallagher, f uh, pleasure finally getting to speak to you. Yeah, no problem. Best of luck for Saturday night, and we look forward to catching up with you soon. No problem. Enjoy fight week.